is lecture 6 on calculus 2 and it's on the gradient vector uh, it's, um, and it's got some to do with the last lecture work as well which was directional derivatives uh, let's pop back there. right first off a definition as always uh, the gradient vector is the measure of the rate of increase or decrease of a function so it's just like finding the derivative uh, Find, like finding the derivative of a function with more than one variable. And it's donated as this upside down triangle which is called Nabla, I think. Uh, Nabla F, so it's usually referred to as grad F. And we work this out as partial derivative of x, comma, partial derivative of y, comma, partial derivative of z. It was, yeah. And it's laid out like a vector. Right, example. We have f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared all squared so we want to find uh, the partial derivative with respect to x first so we differentiate the bracket that'll give us a uh, 2x and we take the power down so it goes 4x x squared plus y squared and then we want to do it with y as well so we move the find the derivative of the bracket which will give us 2y move the power so it's just the same as last one but we have 4y times x squared plus y squared yep Right, and then we want to just want to put it in the form, so we'll have uh, grad f equals this comma this, and that'll be your answer. Uh, if you wanted to find the gradient at a point, say you wanted the point three one, uh, then you just change the x for a three, and the y for a one, and change the corresponding x and y's in this, and that'll give you the gradient at that point. Right, a directional derivative example. So, we're given, we want to find the directional derivative of f of x, y, where it equals inverse of tan y over x, x and y are both positive, at the point 2, 1 in the direction u equals 3 fifths i plus 4 fifths j. So, what we already know about uh, the derivative of tan inverse is that it equals 1 over 1 plus x squared. So what we want to do, we want to change the x for a y over x, so we have 1 over 1 plus y squared over x squared. And then what we want to find is the derivative of this with respect to x. So we, at the moment, this is basically y x to the minus 1. So we move, uh, we move the power down, so it's minus y x to the minus 2, because we have to incre uh, decrease the power as well because we find the derivative. So it's minus y over x squared, and we multiply this by this, which will give you minus y over x squared plus y squared, because this is a y squared over x squared, so the x squared is just cancel, and you'll be left with this. Uh, similarly, for this, it's just the same. Now we want to differentiate with respect to y. Um, so we do the same, we change it for y squared over x squared, we want to find the derivative of this, which will be 1 over x, yeah 1 over x, because the y will just disappear, yeah that's right, uh, so we change this for, no we multiply it by 1 over x, so the x will just move to the top, this will become because this is uh, x squared, y squared, we've just multiplied everything by x squared. So uh, the, the x squared goes there. The x squared goes up here. But because we're dividing by x, it just becomes 1x. One, one yeah? Now, we want it at the point 2, 1. So we substitute our values in. So we'll have minus 1 over 5. So minus a fifth for our partial derivative of x. Uh, and this will have uh, 2 fifths. Uh, for the partial derivative of y with our 2, 1. Uh, if you remember from the last lecture, the next thing we want to do is we want to multiply each of these out, and that will find the directional derivative for us. Uh, oh, there we go. So multiply them and add them. Uh, that will be in the last lecture, lecture 5, and that will give you the answer, a fifth. Now, if this was 0, then that would mean that point you have found is a normal to the, uh, no, is parallel to the curve, if it was to be zero. 
Because there'd be no rate, no rate of change. What we we'll next? A perpendicular example. Right. Well, we know what to do if, if we want it to be uh, parallel. Just make it uh, let it equal zero. Uh, so, find a line which intersects the curve x squared plus 4y squared equals 13. Orthogonally, that means perpendicularly, uh, at 3, 1. So first of all, we should check that it actually works. So we have 3 squared plus 4, 4 is 13, that's fine. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to let f, uh, let f of xy equal x squared plus 4y squared. Yeah, that's fine. Now find the directional derivative of this. So, uh, this will give you 2x for that and 8y for that. Yeah, and then we can put substitute our. That should be a 3. I don't know why that's a 0. Uh, we want to put our values 3, 1 in. 3, 1, not that, that's a 0. Uh, so we get 6, 8. Now, what we know so far is we want to find a function where it uh, goes through the point 3, 1 and is orthogonal to 8. Uh, 6, 8, sorry. So we'll just put this, this is a standard format. So we'll have x, y plus the point it's going through plus t times the gradient. And this is just a standard function. So you'll have your x, y, maybe a z, plus your point, plus t, because it could be anything, it could be a t or a z or something like that, plus t times your gradient. Now, next we want to do is we want to get rid of the t's, because we don't, we don't like other other variables in there, so we let them let these equal, so x equals 3 plus 6t and y equals 1 plus 8t we get the t from this one and it's, it's generally nice to leave it in y equals form so we substitute this t into this t over here which was 8t and it'll give you the answer y equals 4 thirds x minus 3 is that it? Yep.